Hello and welcome to this Zero AD to Linda Est. Today I will be showing a replay which demonstrates what so far is my best build order against AI. I can't really play too much of multiplayer due to uh, latency issues being in the very southern tip of Southeast Asia. So these, these guys are useless, so after a few games of playing with just having these guys idle, now I, I use them to get the buildings up faster. Get him doing stuff as well. The AI over here has done a few things. I just tried to build a uh, storehouse, I think. So that's what. That's what happened there. I've noticed uh, the difference between my build and the AI's build is the farmstead. Because the. Th because the thing is, the game gives you, or this map, will give you two sheep to start with, Ovis Aries. So what you should be doing is building the farmstead and taking the two sheep over there so that the villagers will gather the food from it faster, the meat. So I have five on wood and six on food. I have my administrator, minister, Jean Fu Buzan Zhang Zhang. Uh, do they have the same as? Is it just I U E O? And that's why you've got the doobies. What type of pinyin transliteration are you using? <laughs> that's what... That's the only... Zhang Fu Bu Zhang? Zheng. Hmm. Zheng. Fu Bu Zhang. Ah. Zhang. <laughs> I only, I only really know uh, the Hepburn romanization transliteration of Japanese and not Cantonese or Mandarin, I should say. Mandarin is the big one, and Cantonese is the other one. I get them confused. Wait, which? I know one of them's the most com the second most common language in the world. God, which one's the com most common language in the world? I looked it up recently. It's either Spanish or Cantonese, and then or Mandarin, <laughs> whichever which or Chinese, the main Chinese one, and then English is third. Somebody said that once. They said, oh, but English is the most common language in the world. And I thought, surely not. <laughs> that doesn't... There's so many other countries out there. <laughs> I was surprised with Spanish, though. There are so many Spanish-speaking countries. You don't really realize until you see... I should be talking about the game and not this. This was intended to be somewhat practice for uh, casting the community cup, community champions cup that's currently happening. There's been uh, two or three games have been played so far, or uh, matchups. There's three games per matchup, best of three. So uh, yeah. Some matchups have only played two games, whereas some have played out the full three. 
Storehouse in between the... Yeah, that's how I do that too. Kind of in between resources. But this is pretty nice, this here. That's what I should have done. Instead of... Because I played the whole game. Cause. I need to get out of the, hab of the habit of using shortened language. What was I just saying? <laughs> completely have forgotten. I completely have forgotten. I am trying to pay attention to uh, talking and not to the game. Talking and casting, putting the camera in interesting places. I think this is the best one because you can see over here and you can see down here. What I should show is that um, he can see everything, <laughs> He's, and I don't know. I don't know why. Is that normal? I can't see everything. I haven't even scouted. Actually, this is terrible. I needed him for food. But I should have, I should really have sent him to scout and then had him come back and hunt. <laughs> hunt and they, they call them gather, gather, it's called gathering. You hunt and then gather, or collect. You gather berries. You don't gather meat. <laughs> but I think it's all just gathering because differentiating between these things would be a whole other set of coding work for each civilization and then versioning and oh I can't even I can't even begin so these rice patties are awesome and it's the reason why I only ever play as the Han Chinese in uh, Delenda Est If you build them, like, let's say over here where the elevation differs a little, oops. What will happen is that the, some of the little segments will go up here and some down here. And it looks awesome. So, there you go. Just a little thing. He reaches the town phase much earlier than I do, but I think that is... Hmm, that's a limitation of my build order, not of the civilization. He... gathers much more food than I can. I realize that I could be farming down here. I think this is fertile farmland and as well as here and well that's almost a heart shape. A heart shaped shape. <laughs> Just as my units have come out I'm ready for this first engagement here. I lure them back to my town center. And fight with arrows. I also actually try and micro my units on low health into here, but I don't quite manage it. I get a couple in. 
but not as many as I would have liked. I could have saved all of them. I needed to have zoomed in like I have done here to be able to actually select them. I wasn't able to select them quick enough. I was like, oh, no, no, like that kind of thing. There's still one here. But I have my starting units to take care of him with. Pile of people there on the ground. It's very 3D. Why don't you just make the ground out of the same thing you make people out of? And then the ground will be all... Um, have natural bumps in it and such. I know that's absurd. But not really. <laughs> it's kind of absurd, but not really. You know? It's... It's a good semi-entropic source of information, like randomness. I don't know what I'm trying to explain there. You could have that as the base for your tessellation, like mat or whatever, it, whatever they use for that. Just, yeah. Just make a big fight and then have all the bodies there. Oh, I've got a random thing and just lay grass on the top. Basically. Use your use your own AI code as randomization for texture mapping. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> oh dear. There might be something in that. Might not be entirely nonsense. Yes, these... ...start off with... ...a stoa, the Epirotes, because they're just basically another Greeks... ...Greeks 2.0. Or maybe they're an alpha version. Maybe it's version alpha 23 of the Greeks. Hey, Greece wasn't built in a day, all right? The Han Chinese only have access to these technologies which grant extra percentage bonuses to the HP amount for organic units after converting to a super town center. He's already level... S or maybe it is the next phase that I need to be in. I should be just doing it now, yes. You must build an imperial court in order to level up to... what phase is it? The phase before city phase. Town phase? Town phase, I imagine. It'd be village, town, city, and something else. Empire. <laughs> it wouldn't be empire. You don't want to have a... You don't want to have an entire age, you know, a whole bunch of empires in it. That's, that's terrible. You want to have... You, a you want to have a null point of time something like zero AD somewhere in like in the middle of Eurocentric time Another reason why Delenda. Delonda? It can't it be Delonda. <laughs> what, what language would it be if it had that? What's it called? Um, there's a different word for it, but just the pronunciation of the letter. It's 
why I like to lend est is because this not just Greeks and Romans and such. Is there going to be Japan at some point? Is there already Japan and I just haven't noticed? <laughs> or don't remember? Japan did things in 0 AD. Feudal stuff, probably. Um, and move. Minister. For some reason, I, I keep wanting to call them administrators. There is much more micromanagement with the Han Chinese. Moving ministers around, building extra buildings in order to level up to the next phase of development. Things such as that. These also, you have to build four extra of those individually in order to go to the next phase. What happens here is very fun. Neither of us see each other. I mean, technically he does not have any fog of war or any lack of vision going on. But his vision would be about the same as mine. And in terms of AI vision. And we don't see each other. At no point do we see each other. Just barely on the edge. I assume that he may have built his first expansion out here, which he often does. But I, in this instance, I did not let him get far enough into the game to get to his first expansion. I'm giving it away, but the length of the video will give it away also. The thing is, AI don't micromanage their units. He just attacks these, and that's all that happens. You don't even need to bother checking that out. What you should see instead... Oh, is how I micromanage my horses around. So, these pikemen will beat horses. They're strong against horses. I noticed that and I noticed that the AI is dead set on just getting these horses. So I micro my horses around and let my other units take them out without receiving any damage to the horses or to my other units. ESD. They still have Greek voice lines. Greek or whatever that is. ESD. He's obsessed with electrostatic discharge, this guy. <laughs> I'm going back and building more units. That's what I'm doing. At this point, I had moved my camera around to somewhere like this just to uh, be able to see properly because the mountains make it difficult. I just basically go around and destroy his economy. Their farms go down unusually fast. I think farms don't have enough HP. Very hard to defend. Too hard, especially considering the farmland on maps such as this are so far away from your main base and very hard to defend. Yes, 
Yes, he is trying to do some things, but I'm also building units and they will be coming out very soon. He hasn't micromanaged anything, so he just he took down a building and some of the horses that I came I built horse archers first because they were very cheap. But I should have held off a few a little while and built these instead. I'll have these coming out in a minute. I will use these villages to stop that from going down. I actually have that set to my two key. I have all these and their rally points about there. But there's nothing happening there. Whereas here I'm just ruining him. He's ruined. This build order and set of strategies may not be defeat another human, but uh, they certainly do well against an AI. I mean, I could have rang the town bell and if he had have tried to micro. And I would have just had overwhelming amount of units. Military. My military would just have been larger than his. They were building their farms on that uh, those pebbles too. I don't know if the pebbles are worse than the grass, but they should be. It should be pebbles are terrible, grass is all right. And farmland is great. That's how it should be. He's just gone. He's gone. Taking out all of the villages, uh, you, you, take out all of the all of the villages while they are out here, and before they get into range of being able to garrison easily. It's one extra arrow for each villager, and one extra amount. Probably, I would imagine you'd have to have two extra army capturing for every unit inside the building you want to capture. <laughs> this is a little... I could have finished this a little earlier. But, uh, in order to guarantee, I take over the mercenary camp and use it to build some more horses and then use this this combined force to take down the town center the ai does not micro at all it's terrible i don't think it is it is as good as garrisoning as the regular AI. Yes, I've tried to build some mercenary horses which come up without their riders. Hence the errors. healers. It's annoying that one of them's doing that. I needed to have been doing more micromanagement. 
And now I realize it's about it's about time. They probably have no basically no they have 10. So I was correct. And then the game was over. Because I had won. <laughs> and that's how you beat very hard, aggressive AI in the Delenda Est mod. I'm looking forward to the AI being improved a little. Because this is no longer a challenge. I'm pretty sure the regular very hard AI on the regular build would still defeat me pretty easily. But, uh, yeah. Just wicker baskets first. And everything else, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Just what you saw there, that's the strategy. Doing that stuff. That's how you do it. That's how you beat. Wait, I can't bring... What? I can't bring the hard back up. Huh. Well, anyway. I hope you have a good one. And peace.